While you were laughing at people who spent $9,000 to add a watch to their Apple Watch, you probably missed 3D printed medication, the world's biggest plane, and an aging exoskeleton. Welcome to In Case You Missed It, where the scientifically proven sexism of air conditioners made me so angry, I almost felt warm for a minute. Oh, enough. Genworth Financial and former Disney Imagineers at Applied Minds have fashioned a suit that simulates the effects of aging. Exoskeleton is applying load to you at about the predicted balance and change you'll have as your spine changes and as you age. The R70i's onboard computers modify users' ability to move, see, and hear in a way that mimics mama's hip flexibility or grandpappy's finger agility, all to give a dose of empathy. It's also a lab tool for developing technology to assist older people. Maybe this will be ready by the time people on the internet are grumpy and old. I won't deny it, I'm a straight rider. You don't wanna fuck with me. Got the police watching at me. We've 3D printed sugar to decorate cakes, made plastic car parts, and even made guns. But now, the U.S. Food and Drug Administration has approved the first 3D printed drug. It's an epilepsy medication that is deliberately porous so that a tiny bit of liquid will help it dissolve immediately. And with that, anyone with a 3D printer can become Walter White. I am the one who knocks. A bunch of tech heavyweights are building a modern spruce goose, except, you know, this one actually flies. It's called the Strato Launch and is being built right now in the Mojave Desert. Once complete, it will be the largest plane ever built and the hope is will be employed as a launch system for rockets. Builders plan to strap a satellite to the back of the plane, take off, then launch the rocket into space from midair. It's supposed to be an easier way to put satellites into orbit and we'll find out next year. And finally, this little drone prank came about from people wondering, what would the human torch look like in real life? And that's the show, y'all. See you tomorrow.